Maldives has signed a military agreement with China. Now, we do not know the entire details of this agreement, but we do know two things related to this agreement. One, China has agreed to provide military assistance to Maldives. And second, that this agreement is basically free of cost. As for this military assistance, it is largely unclear as to what this military assistance would entail. It could mean that China could provide military weapons to Maldives. It could also mean that China could run operational surveillance in that particular region. Now, it could also mean that China could station its officials and military personnel in Maldives or all of these combined. Now, as for the free of cost part, nothing in this world comes for free. There is a cost for everything. And the president of Maldives, Mohamed Muizu, knows it very well. This military agreement between China and Maldives has further strained the relationship between India and Maldives. But the drift between India and Maldives did not start here, nor did it start when the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, promoted Lakshwadeep tourism on his social media account. It started way back. And in fact, the new president of Maldives, Mohamed Muizu, won the recent elections on the basis of his India Out campaign. And we can have an entire video on that. But coming back to the topic, before this agreement, Maldives also asked India to withdraw its troops from the country. The president, after coming to power, even stated that Maldives would not have any foreign military presence in the country, but has now signed a military agreement with China. Now, this could mean two things. Either this agreement, this military agreement between China and Maldives would not allow for China to basically stay its military personnel in Maldives as per the earlier statement of the president of Maldives or that statement was specifically meant for India to remove its presence from Maldives. Furthermore, the president has also stated that no Indian troops, including those in civilian clothing, will be allowed to enter the island nation after May 10th. This statement has come just one day after the agreement between China and Maldives. Now, it is clear that at this point of time, Maldives is following an anti-India and pro-China policy and that it is ready for China to increase its influence in the region. Now, how will China benefit from this military agreement between China and Maldives? China wants to increase its influence in the Indian Ocean region and it has been working on it for over a decade now. It also wants to alienate India's geopolitical influence from this region. How has China been working on increasing its influence in the Indian Ocean region? China has made investments worth billions of dollars in the Indian Ocean region. It has also put countries into debt traps and also made strong alliances in the South Asian region. It has set up ports in Hambantota, which is in Sri Lanka. And that was basically a debt trap which Sri Lanka fell into. And Sri Lanka ended up leasing that port out to China for 99 years. China has also invested about $78 million to build the PLA support base in Djibouti and about $1.6 billion to build the border port in Pakistan. Not only that, but China has been directly involved in the construction of about 13 ports in the Indian Ocean region. So this is how China has been increasing its influence in the Indian Ocean region. Now, China has not only been working on increasing its influence in the Indian Ocean region, but the world as a whole. And through its Belt and Road Initiative, it has lent out $385 billion worth of undisclosed loans, the terms and conditions of which are only known by China and the individual countries involved. So this is how China has been working to dominate the global order. Now, Maldives holds a significant strategic importance in the Indian Ocean region as it is situated at the core of the commercial sea routes across the Indian Ocean. And this is why both India and China, they want to have an influence over Maldives. And while India has had close ties with Maldives up until this point, that seems to not be the case moving forward. This military agreement between China and Maldives, along with other investments made by China in Maldives, is not only drifting India apart from Maldives, but it is also a sign of caution for India. Increased Chinese influence in Maldives means that China is now at a closer proximity in the southwestern region of India. And China could set up its military base in and around Maldives, which it could then use to run surveillance operations on India and pose a threat to India's security. Given the increased Chinese influence and the recent military agreement with Maldives, here is how India is also preparing to counter China. India is setting up its second naval base in Lakshwadeep, which is the INS Jatayu. This naval base will allow India to improve its security infrastructure. INS Jatayu will also extend the operational reach of the Indian Navy in the Indian Ocean. Not only that, but through enhanced operational surveillance, it will also help 
India, specifically the Indian Navy, to track down any enemies in and around the Indian Ocean region, especially now when China is working with Maldives. Not only that, but India has also built an airstrip and jetty at the Agalega Islands in Mauritius and is also working on six other projects with Mauritius. And this strategic partnership with Mauritius will only help India to exchange information, to even run operational surveillance if needed to counter China's presence in the region. And this strategic partnership could serve as a vital source to maintain India's geopolitical influence in the Indian Ocean region. While China is aiming to dominate the Indian Ocean region by partnering up with several of the island nations in the Indian Ocean, India is also working to improve its presence in the region. But China's growing influence in the region still poses a challenge for India. So what do you think about China's military agreement with Maldives? Do you think that it is going to pose a serious threat to India? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video valuable, please share this video with your friends and family. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.